Hello, I'm Matt and welcome to Badger Workshop. Earlier in the year I restored this old toolbox, but in the garage there was also another one, much larger, and I've been wanting to do something with it. Another thing I've had sat in the garage is this hardwood handrail. So I'm going to take these two bits and turn them into a desk, and this is going to be for the Rockler Desk Challenge. This old toolbox has definitely seen better days, so the first thing I'm going to do is get it stripped down. It has some tabs that would have held a handsaw. I don't think I really need a handsaw in a desk, so I'm going to get them removed. The handle's really quite nice, so I'm going to keep that. And then I'm going to get the lid taken off, just so I can have access to everything a bit better. It's definitely seen better days and there's quite a few cracks so I've mixed up some of this two part filler and I'm just going to go around and fill any little gaps that I can give the whole thing a sand down. So I think this will make a great desk for kids, kind of like a school desk so I'm going to paint it with some blackboard paint and then they'll be able to write on it with some chalk. While I wait for the paint to dry, I give all the hardware a clean up using a wire wheel in the pillar drill. Then I can get the toolbox put back together. Now it's going to need some legs and that's what I'm going to use this baluster rail for. I get the old brackets removed and then mark it out into the length of the legs I want. And then I can cut it down with a handsaw into these four pieces just to make it more manageable. The handrail has a curve on the top and the sides and it only got one kind of flat surface so I use that as reference and then get some strips ripped down on the bandsaw. I can then take them over to the thicknesser and get the strips cleaned up. Now two things I'm terrible at, digital design and working out angles. So I've drawn a full size sketch of what I want the leg design to be. The back leg is going to be cut at 45 degrees and so is the top piece and that's going to have two 45 degrees, one at each end. The front leg is going to stick out 10 degrees more. So with them done, I can then cut the legs to length and the front one is just going to need a 10 degree angle at the bottom. Because of the angle, these bits don't quite match up so I'm going to need to taper this and I want to add tapers to the legs themselves. Now, I was too lazy to make a jig to do this, so I just freehanded all the cuts on the bandsaw. To join the legs together, I want to cut splines in the top of them, like this. But to be able to do that safely, I need to knock up a quick jig. So I get some bits of 18mm ply cut down to size. These three bits are just going to fit tightly over the table saw fence and run along it. So I just get them glued and screwed together. I swap out my blade in the table saw to one with a flat tooth profile. This blade I'm using has got a 5mm thick tooth. I can now get the leg positioned onto the new jig and clamped into place. The jig can then be pushed along the fence and making the cut in the bottom of the leg. After I've made the first cut, I unclamp it, swap the workpiece around and make the cut from the other side and this will mean the slot is perfectly centred. With the slots cut, I need some splines to go in them, so I get some thin pieces ripped down on the bandsaw. I then give these a quick sand down and then I'm ready to get the legs put together. So I get some PVA wood glue applied to the splines. The splines then go into the slots I've cut and the legs can be pushed together. When the glue has had a chance to dry, I can then use the bandsaw to trim all these splines flush with the legs.
give the legs one last sand down and then it's time to get the desk put together. I apply some dobs of construction adhesive to the back of the legs. Then using a scrap of wood and a combination square, I get the legs positioned and clamped into place. To secure them, I can then drive some screws through from the inside into the legs. To finish them, I'm just going to use some of my homemade badger wax. I brush it on, leave it for about 10 minutes, and then I come back and buff it off with a microfiber cloth. I decided the desk needed a bit of storage and a pencil pot seemed a good idea. So I tilted the blade over to 45 degrees. Then I could rip down some 18mm ply with a 45 on each side. Then I can get four pieces cut to the same length. To glue them up, I'm going to use some masking tape. So I've got a couple of strips laid out on my bench that I can get all the pieces positioned onto it. I get some PVA wood glue applied on all the joints and then I can start getting this folded up. With all four sides together, I can then pull the tape tight and leave it to dry. And the last thing it needs is the base gluing in. I'm going to add a bit of colour to this, so I'm going with a really bright pink. And I'm just going to spray the pen pot with that and the handle for the desk that's going to lift the lid. I can then get the handle put back on the top of the box and I'm going to use some little brass screws to secure it. And that's it all done. So now a simple little desk with some storage inside and a place to keep your pencils. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons and please subscribe for more videos.